first of all, I want to thank my mom most because she has been a great support in, for me in, in what I do. Like, she, 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 tell, she, she, used, she used to tell me that most of the time that I follow my passion and I follow what I love doing most. Because what matters most is what you love and what God has given you. My mom has really been a great supportive person. I do pencil portraits. I do pencil portraits and also I can do with color pencils. And also, um, not only do I do that, I also do like, I also paint words. I love messing with words and uh, giving it a good symphony. school last year and there was no art in school and actually at some point uh, I had to face a lot of challenges drawing you know like being found drawing in prep time and uh, you know it's, it's not fine you have to read like the teacher is saying you have to read and uh, do a professional career but me there was a deep passion in me in art and so like I pushed on in art okay the first thing that made me to at least believe in myself there was, um, there was a portrait I drew, I, I drew in school and um, in class. You know, back then the, pe pe people, uh, the students didn't realize that I was an artist. And so uh, there was this picture that I drew one night during the prep time and it was an amazing picture. And so like people like, were like, you're so amazing, you have a talent, you're different like the rest of us. And so by the time I was informed too, I was the best art artist in our school. I, I, I was like doing graffiti, for the people, you know, some stuff like funkies, you know, and also doing some, a lot of portraits for people. Like, um, in, in, when I was in Form 3 2015, I used to draw a lot for my friends. My friends used to bring portraits about from their parents, and uh, yeah, I drew them, and at least I had something. In art, there is passion. Like you can give me a portrait right now, I draw, but because I don't have the interest, it, it cannot be well. But when I have the morale and, um, and the passion for it, I can draw a very good thing. Yeah, doing pen pencil portraits, it's not easy. Because first of all, you have to know how to balance light. How the light falls on the, on the image. Like, you know, in pencil, in pencil portraits, you do black and white. So there's a way that you have to know how the light will come out from the image. So it's not just an easy thing because you have to even to learn the techniques of shading. We have different complexions and you know the pencil mostly people describe it as it can be used, it is black. So like you have to know how you can, you have to know how to balance the light the way you are shading. Like for Africans, you know most of us are black. So there's a way you should, you, should, uh, you should bring out the black complexion in the picture. So you have to put more of the dark, more of the dark pencil than the light on. Um, I, I get a lot of clients through my, through my blogs and uh, yeah, through my Facebook page and Instagram. For the, for the A3, when I do also, and when I combine it with, with the frame, I charge 5,000 Kenyan shillings only. And when there is no frame, I just do it for 3,500. It is not difficult to use the, the oils, the paints. And actually there was a time I used to, I used to do the paintings and all that. But according to me, there is, there is a way I feel drawing using pencils. And um, also I can do painting with using oils, using paints. It's not a difficult thing, but there's a way I like just do, doing uh, the pencil. Most people like to associate with them, themselves with the personality icons. So I've drawn, I've drawn many icons. These are people who have made uh, such a great impact in the world. There's Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi is one of my I am one of my role models. I like him, and um, I like him the way the, the way he, he thought and the way like he used to handle things. And so I, I decided one day that I'll draw 
Mahatma Gandhi. I used to, you know, in school, I, was, I, used, I used to do a lot of public speaking. And so there was a time I used to bring a, a lot of quotes from Mahatma Mohandras. And so I like, my friend, my destiny told me one, one day, like, why don't you do this person you keep talking about, a portrait of him, at least to remember him and uh, at least people can know him more. You know, people like in high school don't know more about icons, like world icons, they know about entertainment icons and sport icons. And so I decided to do the portrait and uh, I went and hung it in the school notice board. It was, a, it was a good, it made me feel nice. And those who tell us that we can't, we will respond with that timeless creed that sums up the spirit of a people. Yes, we can. Thank you. Uh, Barack Obama, I did that portrait actually when I was in, uh, I, was, I did it in form two, tw back in 2014. I just like, I like the man. And he, you, know, you know, he was the first black president, actually he was from Kenya. So I thought, why can't I do a portrait of him? I did that picture of Bob Marley back in um, 2014. I was informed through that time. And um, a lot of people could associate with his music. And um, pe most people loved his music. And uh, he was a great musician, music icon in the world. And so I did a portrait of him just to, just to, to symbolize the, the saying that he says that my music will go on forever. I did it uh, with a lot of shading. There was a lot of shading and actually took me a lot of time. It, it may seem simple, but you know, there's a way you interact with the picture. I, I could interact with the picture more and I could give a, a great output of it. And so like uh, for the Bomale, also he's, he represents the black spirit of people there. And so it was more darker for the dreadlocks and uh, for the personality himself. <laughs> And that's Nicki Minaj. I also did it back in 2014. And um, that picture, actually, she was, she's also a musician. And so I did it. And uh, it had a, you can see it has a very dark complexion. And so I had to put it at least to, I was trying actually something new. And um, at least to put more dark in my pictures. And like for, there's the one I did for Wangari Mathai. I did way back in school. And um, it was this time that she had, uh, she had died. And um, you know, there was a lot of, planting of trees, there was a lot of just like trying to conserve the environment. And so I saw it was a great opportunity to draw at least, to put this great icon in a piece of paper. Okay, my process before I start doing art, like there's a way I have to like interact with the picture. I feel, I feel the picture, I feel that, that like, what can I say? I feel the environment of the picture, and I also, most of the time, I draw using listening to music. I listen to a lot of music. About time of drawing the pictures, it will determine by the the size of the picture, and uh, and uh, how I'm passionate about that picture. Like for example, there are some pictures. I do for about 24 hours. 24 hours I can do an A4 paper and finish. And uh, for an A3 paper, I can take less than maybe 48 hours and I can be done. Tools of my trade, I use um, 4H, 2H, uh, 6B pencil, and uh, 2B pencil. Okay, for the 6B, it's used for making the darker tone for the 4H, for the lighter tone. And as you can see, I have the color pencils. These color pencils, they are, they are used for making the picture to look, uh, to, to look well, and um, to look pretty at least. As you can see, the rubbers here. Um, I use three rubbers, one for at least removing the, the darker tone, when there's a lot of dark tone in the picture. And also, I use another rubber which is used to make sharp edges, maybe for the for the hair and all that. And the last one is I use a simple piece of tissue paper for rubbing the 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 darker tone for the picture to be smooth. And I've, and I also use a brush. A brush is used for removing the particles. You don't have to remove using your hand, so it, so that it can have a better texture.
The longest portrait that has ever taken me took me two days. Two days and uh, it, was for, it was a commissioned art I did for someone and it took me actually two days. There is a way I like drawing babies a lot because they have this soft complexion and knowing pencil it's, it's just simple like for the elderly it is so hard to draw the wrinkles like but, but I can draw it but there is a way I find it drawing the kids so interesting. In my club, which was the Peace Club, they wanted something that could represent our, our, our club. And so I decided to do this picture of this child, this kid. And you see this kid, there is a way that you look at this picture and you feel the, you feel the, um, the happiness in you. And so I decided to draw this picture. About the complexion of this picture, you, you can see there is a lot of, the, uh, in, in the heart, there is a, there's a lot of details. And there I used a lot of, HB, a lot of B pencil, not in the pencils, there's B, B pencil, the H. In the eyes, you can see the eyes, they are, they are somehow bringing you closer to the picture. And um, also there is, also the, in the background, there's a lot of black, which, which, which could actually bring you right to the face as you look at it. Uh, I, I did a live picture once, but it was also back in school, and uh, I drew my destiny. But you know it was so hard because at sometimes he's in the motion, sometimes he's moving. So I find it difficult. You know you have to put someone in a still position so that you can get the, the, the actual picture that he or she wants. But, um, but getting from the actual pictures, it is simple because I have to stay with the picture. At least I engage with it and uh, at least you know there is no motion or that. Like for that for Jomo Kenyatta, you know you have to identify it with people. People have to, like when I bring the, the picture, people will say this is Jomo Kenyatta. But, so the pressure is normal, but as time goes by, you'll be able to like know where, you, you'll be able to interact with the picture and uh, like get the, the actual face. Okay, for, for the older people, um, it takes a lot of time, and uh, it, you, you have to put a lot of a lot of graphite in it. Like the wrinkles, you have to put different graphite, different pencils, and uh, like for the children, it's simple. I can do it even within 24 hours, and I'm done. Or well, let's say three hours, I'll be done with the picture because it, they have the soft complexion. But for the people, like the one for the Nelson so Mandela, it has a lot of wrinkles. And um, for the wrinkles, I have to use different pencils so that I can bring out the wrinkles. It's not an easy job there. And for the hair, you had to bring the yeah the white part so that he can look old because he's not as young as other pictures. I had to put a lot of time in it so that I can remove the actual figure of an ideal person. One of the most difficult thing in this picture is drawing the hair. As you can see, in the hair it has to flow you have to put uh, the, the, the right kind of color in it. And so I like this picture because of the hair. I had to do the hair several times so that it could be well. The, the difficulty in, in, in drawing hair is about shading. You cannot draw the hair, it's about shading. You have at least at first to shade the whole picture in the, in the hair part so that you can start shading and removing the parts. Yeah, using a rubber mostly. I'm not yet a perfect artist. I'm trying each and every day learning new things so that I can do hyperrealism, whereby I can get the actual picture. Like the, you, you can you can see the difference between a picture and the real person. So I'm trying every day to improve and uh, at least get better images and uh, yeah something great. For me, you know, there was no art in our school back then. So like uh, I, I could admire most of the portraits being done by like people like Paul Carden. She he, he does. Um, hyperrealism and uh, a girl from Russia she's called Olga Daryonova she does so amazing pictures that they they, they, they they just like make you shiver they are so great so like every time I could uh, I could I, I could practice so that I could be better like them and at least bring it here in Kenya the Kenyan market there is this artist called uh, Jadung, Jadung Arts he, he does a lot of photorealistic pictures so they are at least great so he's a good inspiration Okay, right now, like in our place, we had started um, a group of young artists who could draw, but within time, there was not a lot of motivation. There's no people supporting you. 
to get a lot of information and a teacher who can teach you art, it's not easy. Like I told you earlier, in my school, like it was not easy to convince a teacher that I can do my passion and uh, I can learn from it. It was not easy. And um, yeah, but actually, like most of the time, I could not get information here locally. Like there's, there was a time uh, I used to talk to a lot of people from outside, like ask them how, what they do, what stuff they do with pencils, like all of that. And, uh, they could actually sometimes even refer me to YouTube and I could get a lot of information from there. I believe I can learn from art because it's my passion and it's what I love. And uh, actually it's, 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 it's a God-given ability. So when I use it as a career, it can be something great in my life. Um, about my skill, I love um, it has really brought me to a lot of people, like I engage with a lot of people through art, like I interact with a lot of a lot of personalities, people who want to be drawn like their children, pets, all of that. So about you, you have to at least know your gift, know what God has provided into your life and at least you can put it into maybe a profession. Because most of the youths like most of the youth right now they like they, they want to be employed. But for me you see I'm, I'm self employed. Like because I've realized I have talents and I also I can use it to, to make money and also to, to make myself happy. And also for the people who have not yet found their gifts, they can still find their gifts. Maybe, maybe by going deeper into their hearts by what they love doing.